The Australian High Commission has admonished the government of Ghana to ensure peaceful, free and fair elections when we go to the polls in 2020. Speaking at this year's Australia Day celebration, the High Commissioner Andrew Barnes indicated that his country's commitment towards stronger relations between the two countries. January 26 is Australia Day. It is celebrated to commemorate the arrival in 1788 of the first fleet at Sydney Cove, near where the iconic Sydney Opera House now stands. Australia's relationship with Ghana is a long one based on many shared interests, including democracy, commitment to peace and security, a belief in the importance of free trade and investment, and deep people-to-people -people links. Australian High Commissioner Andrew Barnes stressed that the success of the December 7 polls is key to Ghana's democracy. Ghana's record of peaceful elections and smooth transitions of power is the envy of many nations and we look forward to another free, fair and peaceful election here in Ghana in December. Sadly, I won't be here to witness the election and, and enjoy the excitement as I finish my posting in July but I will be watching it with great interest from home. The High Commission expressed gratitude to government for its support towards the Australia fires. The total area burnt now is more than 10.5 million hectares, nearly half the size of Ghana and about the size of Denmark, the Netherlands and Belgium combined. So far the loss of life has been relatively small, about 30 people have lost their lives, but the impact on our wildlife and the fauna and flora and loss of habitat is massive. It is estimated that between half a billion and one billion animals have died. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their kind words of support and to the many countries that have provided help, including sending firefighting teams, aerial firefighting equipment or military personnel. Minister for Gender and Social Protection Cynthia Morrison gave an assurance of government's resolve for a peaceful election. This year marks another significant period in Ghana's political history as an election year. We pledge, as usual, free, fair, transparent and peaceful election with respect for human rights and for the rights of political parties. We call on the international communities to join hands with Ghana in ensuring that history will be made once again. More than 10,000 Ghanaians currently live in Australia. The diplomatic relationship that exists between Ghana and Australia is one that dates back into the days of independence from trade, education, social support services and mining. These two countries are bent on ensuring that their people are the primary beneficiaries of this relationship as well as the world as large. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, Australian High Commission, Accra.